hopefully this works. This is like my fourth time trying to get the Windows to finish its update. I'm hoping it works. <laughs> In the meantime, I have got to get things rearranged, start getting ready to print with the printer. I know, I was sitting awful low, wasn't I? Picked up a new chair over at uh, Goodwill this week. Got it for seven bucks, so you can't beat that deal. <laughs> but it sits awful low, so I'm going to have to do something about that eventually. Anyway, getting back to the task at hand. I did the giveaway video, you know, as far as what I'm giving away. I need to get this put away so I can get back to making regular content. So I'm going to do some cleanup here real quick, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so the table's pretty much cleaned off. Yeah, it's not looking the cleanest on camera, but that's all right. The main thing is I'm wanting to show that the A30, I don't believe, has to have all the, what is it, the BL Touch, whatever it is. I firmly believe that it's a firm enough printer, you know, it's solid enough to where I can move it and I have to worry about re-leveling the bed. So, I slid this underneath on the shelf there the other day just before making the video for uh, the giveaway and just kind of yeah, left my tab scan over there just kind of gathered it up and moved it over <laughs> left the filament on it which I know is supposed to be a no-no you're not supposed to do that but I firmly believe that I can go ahead and start printing right now and there wouldn't be an issue so let's go ahead and give that a shot. Okay, so it appears to be to temperature now. So let's go ahead and just start the smallest print I've got on here. Okay, so I selected the dog, which is the the very first sample print that it has on the SD card. I just want to see what the first layer looks like. I just want to see if it lays down or if there's a problem with it. And I always make sure to move the cables out of the way because the cables are attached directly to the box over here. So I try to keep make sure that everything's kind of out of the way when it first starts and then let it kind of do its own thing. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a little prime here with the filament. Pull that out of the way. Question is, did I mess up the bed leveling or did it stay where it's supposed to be? Because before it was perfectly fine. Takes a moment for it to prime. It's sticking to the bed just fine. Now you gotta remember there. As their model doesn't have three perimeters on the skirt where I usually do it's laying down just fine so by moving it it didn't interrupt the bed enough to to skew the first layer it's going down perfectly fine same as what what it would have done if I would have leveled the bed first so we know that it's perfectly fine doing that where that said and done that's one of the, the one test I really wanted to do is see whether or not it was actually flimsy enough to wear it throw off the bed level. It didn't. And that's by picking it up by this, which I'm sure you're not supposed to do, and setting it underneath there. That was uh, almost a week and a half, two weeks ago, when I lifted that up, put it down there, and then I just picked it up and put it back up here, and away it's going. 
I'm not going to let this print finish. I'm going to go ahead and stop this print. I'm going to start another print and I will see you at the end of the time lapse. You're going to love how this one turns out. And there it is after what was it one day and five hours <laughs> of printing it turned out really good this is the low poly dyno by as a t-rex one uh, from the 3d printing professor I'll put a link to his channel and to his Kickstarter down below in the video description um, he sent me the model and asked me if I'd be interested in printing it and I told him I'd love to well, he didn't realize I was planning on printing on this, so I took it up to 320 millimeters to the very top. <laughs> I'm going to send him some pictures. He's going to get a kick out of it. But anyway, um, if it's not already live, it'll be going live very soon, uh, his Kickstarter campaign. I don't know exactly what's, uh, what's going to be in the Kickstarter. We, I've been waiting for the actual announcement from him to find out. This video, of course, is coming out way bef well, a few days before his Kickstarter st is set to come out. Maybe it's going to be interesting to see exactly what he's got what he's got up his sleeve. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you get a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com, where you'll be able to take and purchase merchandise like this from my Public store, or go to the Amazon affiliate and be able to purchase that merchandise from there. Every little bit helps the channel. I sure appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out my Patreon page over here. And if you'd like to watch my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to like them. Oh yeah, you're going to love them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.